What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So it seems like what started out as beef between Nikki and Megan has grown to beef between Nikki and everybody around Megan because now she is accusing Beyonce and Jay-Z of buying streams for Megan and faking numbers. And it's not only that. Nikki also seems to believe that Rock Nation is grooming Megan to be her replacement, which I think is kind of crazy because the two rappers are both good and theorcraft. They sound different, so it makes no sense. And besides, the job of a manager is to make sure that Thayer are dominates the charts and stays on top, so I don't see any harm in that. Now, Megan has been working on herself over the past few years. She has been healing, focusing on getting her body right and all. Nikki, on the other hand, has been dragging her and throwing subtle jabs here and there talking about how she doesn't like horses since Christopher Reeves and all. So when Megan dropped her new song, Hiss, last Friday, Nikki started going off on her saying she brought up her family when she said these O's ain't mad at Megan. These O's mad at Megan's law? Now Nikki got mad because her husband and her brother are both registered offenders. Nikki said the most. Talking about how Megan is a 403, how Megan was trying to force her to drink when she was pregnant, told her to go to the clinic and get rid of the pregnancy, saying that Megan had relations with her mom's boyfriend after her death and all that stuff. She was on live for the longest. She posted a lot on X, and honestly speaking, I had never seen her go this hard for anybody. In the past, when she was beefing with Lil' Kim and Cardi, she always took the beef to the studio. She wouldn't give it that much energy outside the studio. She eventually combined all her posts, added a beat to it, and released a diss track called Bigfoot. On the song, she talked about how Megan on Tori, how many people Megan had been involved with, etc. The song wasn't received so well for obvious reasons, and now she has realized that she has to go bigger, and for her, that seems to entail going after Beyonce, Jay-Z, and the entire rock nation. She seems to think that Beyonce and Jay-Z betrayed her when they chose to continue working with Megan, and she says they have been buying streams and faking numbers. In her mind, it's almost like they chose to work with her enemy. Before we talk about the Jay and Rock Nation situation, let's first look into why Nikki doesn't like Beyonce. For starters, these two queens were on good terms at first. They had two banging hits named Flawless and Feeling Myself. Like all was well... Then Beyonce collaborated with Megan on the remix of Savage, and after some time, fans started noticing that they had fallen out, and this was escalated when Say So came out a few weeks later. In her verse, Nikki said, Why you talking about who body fake with all them fillers in your face? You just full of hate. That real butt ain't keep your ninja home. Now you looking silly, that's word to silicone. Fans wondered why she was all over sudden throwing shade at Beyonce. Like, what did she ever do to her? But the shade did not stop there. In her song, Press Play, she name-dropped Beyonce, saying, They say, why can't you Beyonce? Daddy wasn't no businessman, mama wasn't no business owner, seemingly referring to the fact that Beyonce had it easy coming up and she did not. So from the looks of things, Nikki switched up on Beyonce after she started working with Megan and being friendly with Cardi. But to know Beyonce is to know that all that talking doesn't get you anywhere. I mean, people have literally called her the devil, and she doesn't respond. She doesn't feel the need to involve herself in things that could bring her bad publicity for her and her family. So she distanced herself from Nikki for good. So, now that you're all caught up on the beef with Nikki and Beyonce, let's get into the beef between Nikki, Jay-Z, and Rock Nation. Nikki seems to be so mad at Jay's and Rock Nation because she thinks they are helping no Megan fake her streaming numbers. She talked about this in her live over and over again. She even took it to X saying, B thinks she a bully because she get a Rock Nation brunch every year. B mad at party, he told all your tea, but you taking shots at my family? Get up on your good foot. Go apologize to your mother, nasty serpent. She also posted a screenshot of an ad by Rock Nation on Twitter where they were promoting Megan's song Hiss. And she said spending so much money, but she's the Lil Broke Independent Artist. Desiree, you gotta let it go, baby. The world knows she's ASS and can't rap. Stop trying to make Fetch happen. I just put out a song with no promo, no video. It's already number two. She hinted on the fact that she intends to expose Desiree Perez, who is the CEO of Rock Nation, for firing people without good reason. She said on the next song, I delve into all the people Desiree allegedly fired for unknown reasons. Other things as well. So many people were blindsided and hurt by her allegedly. She's willing to go broke to try to replace me. Fix it, Jesus. She is so mad that Rock Nation is pushing Megan's song and Megan as the next queen of rap. 
Another reason Nikki is mad could be the fact that she did Hot Girl Summer for free. She basically said it herself on X, and I think she felt like, in hindsight, she probably should have charged a fee for that feature. I don't know, guys. You could let me know heat, you think, in the comments. But yeah, I think she is mad at that, too. Then there's the fact that she feels like Jay-Z allegedly helped Meek Mill cover up after he put his hands on Nikki while they were together. You see, a few years after they broke up, Nikki got a deal for a limited doki series about her life titled Queen, and she talked about the situation, but someone from Rock Nation reached out to her and forced her to take out those parts. The series never happened, and Nikki ended up posting small snippets of it. When my mother... Um, would let my father, um, be violent with her. And she always brings up the story as a little girl. I would come in front of, I would stand in front of my mother and go like this. Mm. And I vowed, like, that's why I'm, like, maybe some people would describe me as abrasive or whatever because... I vowed from that age, no man would ever me, call me out my name, treat me like that. And then all of a sudden, that was my life. Meek Mill then sent her a cease and desist, and she responded by saying, You a clown. You do it for likes. Hashtag Twitter fingers be women. Scared of men. You be your own sister and taped it. Spit on her and taped it. Kicked me in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital. Suckin' Drake's D made you feel tough again. Move on. You can never stand on your own. You wasn't round, you know. See you soon. Ultimately, I think Nikki is taking it all out on the wrong people. She needs to take the time to heal from the trauma she has faced throughout her life and just keep working on her craft. The Meek Mill stuff is crazy as hell, but that's no reason for her to take it out on Megan the way she did, especially when Megan didn't even mention her name once anyway. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Catch you in the next one.